Tom Moran here from Tom's Big Spiders, about to rehouse my T Psychedelicus. Billy got me these guys for Christmas this year. It's not much, it doesn't get much better than that as far as Christmas presents are concerned because these guys cost quite a bit. And I know there's been some people eyeing them and people asking me about their husbandry. And I've been doing the husbandry, the five to ten minute husbandry videos. One of the things I mentioned in my first video was that I would do some on just slings. Now normally when I do husbandry videos, I like to do species that I've already raised to adulthood because that pretty much proves I'm doing something right and I can share that information. However, I do know there are a lot of species out there that people are eyeing that there isn't any information on. And when you're plunking 200 plus dollars on a spider, you want to know that you're keeping it correctly. So what I'm going to do is a series that will go along with my other series of husbandry videos where I kind of break down the sling husbandry that I'm currently using on some of the new species that are offered in the market. So again, these guys aren't grown up all the way, but I will continue to update people as I get more information as I continue to transfer them into new enclosures. So with that said, we're going to move on to the video and hopefully we'll get some good pictures of these guys because they really are stunning. We're about to rehouse my Thrygma Pius Psychedelicus. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I've been taking a lot of heat with the way I pronounce some of these things. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say that Psychedelicus is based on the fact that it has a psychedelic appearance to it and wasn't pulled from a, rat, a Latin root. Um, I believe the common name is something like LSD, Tarantula, LSD, Earth, Tiger. I'm not really sure if it has a common name yet, but these guys are beautiful. Billy got me one for Christmas, and Tanya actually doubled it when she came over. We actually had Tanya and her son and her nephews over our house right after Thanksgiving. It was an absolute blast. She brought a bunch of stuff by, and we got the hang, so that was fantastic. And she brought these beauties over. So, so far they are kept moist for people that are looking to get these. And I am going to do this as sort of a husbandry video. And you can see multiple, hopefully that shows up, multiple tunnels in the substrate. They have multiple exits and entrances. I have kept it moist. Apparently the guy who bred these said that the slings need to be kept moist. Or some people were having problems, I guess, with them dying. And considering what these things go for, love it says T-Psycho. What these things go for you definitely don't want one dying on you now this one here just molted that's one we're going to rehouse in a moment but i also have this one here and i want to point out the little volcanoes the dirt volcanoes they build up i've seen them do this as adults as well so if you see that to the side you can see that they'll build these little dirt volcanoes that come up so i'm hoping they do that in these enclosures as well i have seen people keep the adults more dry i believe the spider-man Alan has them as well, and it seems like his are kept mostly dry. We'll see how it goes as they get older, but for the time being, they'll be transferred into one of these, which is about a quart, with a piece of cork bark, starter burl, it'll probably jet right in there, and we're starting off with moist substrate. I'll let the top layers dry out, keep the bottom layers nice and moist. So I'm going to stop talking for a bit. We're going to flip this on, hopefully get a good picture of this one, because it just molted, and it's looking spectacular. Let me make sure I'm doing the right one. This one is not molted yet. <clears throat> so we have the catch cup ready. And here we go. And these guys have come across a little bit skitched. A very something to think about with the prettier spiders. Now I have the blog and obviously Tom uh, the YouTube channel. So sometimes I'll spend a little bit more than I normally would on tarantulas because at least I can show them off to people and hopefully spend some time learning the husbandry so people that do take the chance on them know what they're getting into. I have to say if Billy didn't buy me this one, I don't know how long it would have taken me to get one because they're pricey. Very pricey. All right, so get ready because it's very skittish. Alright buddy, oh, oh man, hopefully this comes out because I'm going to see some of the, the butt, the bootay. Alright, it's coming out, so get ready. Go. I'm going to hold it there for a second if you want to hit that zoom. And I can adjust this light. It makes it easier. There we go. Absolutely stunning. Is that nice and close? Get a little closer if you want. 
just please don't drop the phone on it because I will literally cry on camera. <laughs> Absolutely. You can see why they get the psychedelic name because the, the sheen on them is just unbelievable. That is just an absolutely gorgeous spider. I'm going to try to flip this around. I'm going to take it just for a second because I have a better. Oh, dear Lord. That's beautiful. Sorry, it's a little shaky. I'm holding the can of the old container with one hand and this with the other. So there we go. Some good footage of that. Oh, my God. I've never actually seen one in person. I see these guys like through the... You got it? Mm -hmm. All right, if you want to back off, we'll go ahead with the rest of the rehousing. <clears throat> it's looking about two inches long now. Let's see, I want to twist. There we go. I know you're a little exposed there, buddy. All right. We got a good shot of it. Beautiful. I'm speechless. You guys know how much I like to talk. So we'll go ahead and back off, get this one into its new home. Here's your bottle method. She's not going to work because it has a little no, in the ball. In the ball. No. In the little bugger. Oh, the pitter patter of the little feet. Oh, oh, oh. And we're having one not go up before. Actually, maybe so I can get it right up. And there he or she is. Got him pretty into she. Billy doing a great job wielding the camera. There it is. T. Psychedelicus. Again, if I'm mispronouncing, I apologize. These things look great in writing and sometimes they're a little difficult to pronounce. And basically not well versed in Latin, but I have some people that usually help me out. And I will change my pronunciations. When I discover I'm saying them wrong, because we definitely don't want people saying them incorrectly. Beautiful species. What I got here just to lay it out, this is about a quart probably. One of the clear kind of Amac type boxes. I've got my mix of vermiculite and topsoil on the bottom. Let me cap this like a ding dong. Vermiculite, topsoil, and I did use some of the Lugardi's uh, tarantula substrate. As I mentioned in my review, it's a little expensive to use for everything, but I do like it for scorpions that require a little moisture and my slings that require a little moisture. So we're going to continue to use that for the, the smaller specimens. And there she is. I've got the pre-started burrow. And always when you, we're dealing with a fossorial species, they'll probably never use the cork bark hide once it gets burrowing, but it does give them a place to hide and feel a little more secure until they settle in. So there we go. Now again, temperature-wise, my tea room right now is about 75 degrees on the lower shelf, up to about 78 degrees on the higher shelves. If I can go ahead and kick the light on here. So normal room temperatures would probably be fine. I'm guessing I wouldn't go much lower than 70 on these guys, though, just in case. But there we go. Is that looking okay with the light on? Nice and bright. T. Psychedelicus, very excited to have these, and I'll probably do another video when I go and rehouse this one right here. It's looking a little bit moist. It probably went a little overboard, but we'll see. I think this one's probably getting... Oh, there it is right there. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little butt right in there. It's still kind of small, so hopefully it'll molt soon. And then we'll put this one. It's going to have matching enclosures, but I want something nice. And this will go in my sling. I have a larger Tupperware container that I put my slings in to keep them a little more hydrated and keep them from evaporating as quickly. So there we go. All set. Beautiful species. Again, incredibly pricey. And if Billy hadn't bought this for me... I probably would not own one right now, but it was an excellent gift. And so I understand for people that are going to watch the video and go, yeah, there's no way I'm buying that right now. But hopefully we'll start breeding these guys and get them more of them on the market and the prices will go down.
All right, hope you enjoyed that and hope you got some good information on it. Again, these guys, I know they're incredibly pricey. And if I didn't just get them from Billy, I probably wouldn't have bought one myself because I tend to be a little bit cheap when it comes to that. But I'm not complaining. I'm absolutely loving them. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous spider. So again, I will keep people updated and continue to do update videos on these guys as they continue to grow. So for those of you who are just finding my channel, if you'd like to subscribe, I usually put the little circle thing right up there. Or if you want to check out some other videos to see if I'm, you know, something you want to continue to watch, I usually put them right here and here, I think. I'm always trying to figure out where they go. So for those of you who always watch, I appreciate the comments and continue to comment. And for those new people out there, please feel free to drop a comment and say hello. Thanks so much. Until next time, goodbye. That's a new one. i got to figure out some kind of catchphrase for the end of these things instead of just standing here like a doofus.